Hey everybody, Gio here. Y Juan Carlos. And welcome to our channel. We're super, super happy you guys are here. And if you've been watching us for a while, you might know one special thing about Juan Carlos and myself. And what is that? We love coffee. We do. We absolutely love coffee. We find ourselves to be a little bit of coffee aficionados, I would say. <laughs> uh, we're both actually wearing t-shirts uh, from the time we went to a coffee festival in Costa Rica. From one of the times. That we went. One of the times, yeah. We've been there several times. And uh, so we're bringing you a special video today. And specifically, this video is all about coffee. So if you're interested in coffee, you came to the right place. And specifically, we're kind of excited because why, Juan Carlos? What, what happened? Because one of the uh, companies that provides coffee mm -hmm. um, reached out to us a few days ago asking us if we were interested in uh, making a little video for them where we would uh, taste some of their coffee and we said yes, yeah. why not? We did our research to make sure that it was a, a good company, mm -hmm. that we could trust the company and then we found that um, it is an actual company that they are trustworthy, so that's what, why we're here, yep. ready to test their, their product. So they are a new brand of coffee, and specifically they are a, a micro-dose instant coffee. So don't run away, don't run. When you hear that word instant coffee, immediately you probably think like I did and like Juan Carlos did, to that scoop stuff that you pour in a cup, you know, those names shall remain nameless. We don't drink that here in our house. So we were a little nervous about it at first, but when we did our research, we found out that in fact, uh, this particular brand, which is called Javi, and it's spelled J-A-V-Y, I'll put a little logo here, uh, and they have been producing what they call the world's best micro dose coffee. So we're doing an unboxing with you all. We've never done one of these, and we have not tasted this coffee at all. Mm -hmm. So this is 100% our true impression, as you can hear, our little uh, hot pot over here starting to boil. I can hear the water getting ready. And inside this box is what Javi sent us. So, to be totally transparent, yes, this is a sponsored video because Javi sent us some product. And this is our first official sponsored video on our channel. Mm -hmm. We've been asked to do several for some other companies, but we've never done it because they didn't fit our brand. And since we love coffee, here we are. It does, it does. We so, don't. I'm gonna let you do the honors, Juan Carlos. We've already pre cut the tape so we don't make it easier. <laughs> so we're gonna see what's in the box. Oh, oh, I think Here, let me get the scissors. Into that side. <clears throat> and here we go, we're opening the box. We got some paper, throw that away. Got some bubble wrap. And here we go. Javi microdose coffee. And this is it, folks. What else we got in there? Got a little bag. Got a cute um, little bag. It's a little bag that says Javi Coffee. Mm -hmm. What's inside the bag? There's something in there. Oh, wow, look. Oh, great. We got a curved metal straw and a straight up and down metal straw. Oh, look. And a straw cleaner. Awesome. I love it. Thanks, Javi. I like these will definitely come in handy. So let's give you a little close-up view of all of the stuff we just got. All right, there you go, everybody. That's the Javi liquid microdose, and here's our straws. It's kind of tough to get a focus on the straws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna open this up, and we're going to try it. Try it. We're gonna do our little taste test. I'm excited. We'll give you a little information about Javi and what their brand is all about as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So um, if you visit the, by the way, we're going to put a link right here on the screen and there'll also be a link down below. Uh, and if you click on that link, Javi is going to give you 10% off your entire order. Compliments of GeoJC. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nice, right? Nice. So we're going to go directly to their website. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not that great at memorizing everything. Uh, but Specifically, we're going to give you five reasons why everyone is obsessed with Javi coffee, according to them, of course. It's caffeine stacked, number one. And there are how many doses in here, more? It says 30 servings in one bottle. So one bottle, you get 30 cups of coffee. It's 100% Arabica. 
So it's 100% artisan roasted Arabica bean coffee, concentrated, and each microdose, which is, consists of one teaspoon, is 100 milligrams of caffeine. That's a lot of caffeine mm -hmm. packed in there. Mm -hmm. So definitely it's got um, a punch to it. It is pure coffee, and most of the coffee sold around the world has been mass produced, they say. It's been tinkered with, it's been shipped off, it's been blended. Uh, and Javi is professionally roasted right here in the United States. And Javi's microdose liquid coffee is simply just delicious coffee beans and ultra pure water. Everything you like about coffee without the fluff, according to them. <laughs> without the fluff. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they're doing a really cool thing in the, in the sense that they're reaching out to social media people, influencers, etc., on social media to do their marketing. So they're getting a little marketing campaign out of Juan Carlos and I because yeah. we love coffee. And we I think that's it. pretty smart. Uh, scared to try something new? Well, if you're a coffee lover, according to them, you're going to be hooked, right? And they say that they are so confident that you'll not only love it, that you're going to tell all your friends about it, and they offer a 100% money-back guarantee. Mm -hmm. So if you buy it and you don't like it, you get your money back. Not bad. And number five, it says, for the best bang for your buck, period. So if the bottle comes in just under $20 a bottle. And keep in mind, one bottle makes 30 cups of coffee. That's 30. So that means each cup of coffee costs you around 60 cents. Mm -hmm. So that's not bad when you consider, you know, how much money we spend at, you know, going out for coffee uh, to a coffee shop or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's very convenient. So there you go. There's some things from there. And we're going to go ahead and get in here now and make some coffee. Yeah, so we're going to try like regular hot coffee and also iced coffee. Yes. He's much more of a hot coffee drinker than I am. Um, I particularly, I love a latte, uh, but you love hot coffee morning, noon, night. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> being Costa Rican, you know. And I prefer um, actually coffee in the afternoons usually and in the evenings. Uh, and I love a good iced coffee. So that's what we're gonna try. So we're gonna open it up. We've got our accoutrements here. And so we'll start, you wanna start with a hot coffee you want? Yeah. And the instruction says, get it started. Simply take one to two teaspoons of microdose and mix it with your favorite liquid for a perfect cup of coffee. It says ingredients, 100% Arabica, coffee and filtered water. There you go. So we're gonna start with hot water and we've had that brewing here. So we're at a nice, perfect coffee temperature. I'm going to try mine first without cream and then with cream. Okay, smart. I prefer mine uh, with cream, uh, but I also enjoy coffee without cream, just black coffee. Mm -hmm. It's perfect, fine for me. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit less on that one since you're gonna be adding cream to it. And let me move these out of the way so you all can see what's happening here. It's sealed. Oh yeah, yeah. Careful, you don't spill it out. And I think I'm gonna bring you all in just a little closer. So hang tight and we'll be right back. All right, so we're ready to do our little microdose. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do one, taste it. And then try it with and two. Then try with two. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So this is mine, right? That's yours. Yeah. A one teaspoon. Steady hand. <laughs> there you go. Let me do mine. I would say definitely have a napkin nearby because as you pour it out, you can spill it. And since this is heavily concentrated coffee, my assumption is. It may very well stain, or it can stain. So let's do that. I like a little sugar in my coffee, so I'm going to put a little, a little sweet. I like mine bitter. <laughs> All right. Bitter and strong. Definitely. The aroma is coffee. I smell it. Mm -hmm. Uno. Dos. 
3. 3. One is not enough for me. I need something stronger. You need a little more? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's definitely, I would say with just the one dose, personally for me too, it, it tastes a little watered down. Um, so if you're not a huge coffee lover, that's probably a good thing. You can do like just a single. Let me add a little more to mine and see how that. I'm gonna go one and a half. Light, stronger aroma, right? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. I it's good. It's got a smooth taste to it. I mean, it definitely tastes like coffee. It tastes like coffee. It's still very subtle for me. I it's a subtle probably need one more <laughs> and it might be because um you know just to be candid we we definitely we brew our coffee uh the traditional way in costa rica we do that a lot which is called cafe churiado uh we also use whole bean coffee and we also use uh, single source pea berry coffee which is the highest grade coffee you can buy in the world and it comes also it's been ranked as the number one coffee in the world so we can honestly say we may be a little bit snobby when it comes to our coffee. However, I don't this, dislike the yeah, flavor of this. This tastes good. I like the flavor. It's just too subtle for me. I like my coffee like really strong. A little more robust flavor yes. to it. Yeah. Um, and this is a little more subtle to what our palate it likes. But like I said, I don't mind it. I kind of like the... I'll try one more. <laughs> the subtlety of it. I'll try one more and... I'm going to add the cream. Whoops. Spoon down. <laughs> so I do like it hot, but I'm going to I'm going to do mine in the, in the um, iced coffee in just a minute. So that's 3 mm -hmm. 3 full teaspoons? Yeah. Yeah, I like better three for me again. And we drink our coffee with heavy cream. Everybody does something different, so he's now adding some heavy cream. So you get that nice caramel color to it. It smells good. Think so. Mm -hmm. Now, Lou, I do like it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little cheat right now. I'm going to take my hot coffee. So I've mixed it with water and just two. I've done two or I've done one and a half. So I'm going to put half heavy cream in the iced coffee here. And then I'm going to take the hot coffee that I have and carefully Add it. You can see the nice little caramel color happening in there. Give it a little stir. Typically, I would have used uh, the beautiful straw that Javi gave us, but I haven't washed them yet, so <laughs> I'll hold <laughs> off for that. And I'm going to try this now with the heavy cream and the. I probably put a little too much heavy cream for me, so I think I need to add. A little more concentrate. We're like experimenting here. Why don't you just add more, more coffee? I, I, got my cup is full. Yeah, I would say definitely you're gonna have to be careful when you're trying to pour out of here. Um, I think the the one bit of advice I would give to Javi would be maybe try to figure out a, uh, maybe provide a like a, a eyedropper 
maybe, or some some way of pouring it out so that it doesn't spill everywhere, because it doesn't doesn't come out of the container very well without spilling. Yeah. And it gets all over the side of the bottle. Just a suggestion. <laughs> We're giving you our honest review, everybody. And we told Javi, just so you know, we told their marketing people that we would do this, but we were going to be 100% honest. We weren't going to lie. And we told them if we really hated it, we would tell you. So, so far, we don't hate it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's much better now that I added a little more. You want to try? You want to try this? Yep. He's drinking it fast, so <laughs> See, it's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I like it. I think it would be good too if I added like a little bit of vanilla syrup to it, or see, you know. I think the one thing that I so, like. Yeah, go uh, ahead. So you use like I four... used. Well, this is a large cup too, mm -hmm. so think about it for a minute. I used one and a half in here, mm -hmm. and then I only and then I had about half of this was heavy cream and ice, so then I added another one and a half. So like total of um, three 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 yeah I use three in mine yeah three plus the um, the sugar yeah plus mm -hmm. a little two tablespoons sorry teaspoons of sugar so in mine it's only three uh, teaspoons and the, and the hair cream that's yeah. it so let's let's think about this for a minute uses for this. Now, in the morning Amor, we use a Keurig quite often and that's that's an easy way. Either we buy the store-bought K-Cups or we grind our own and we have our own little reusable K-Cups to do a single cup of coffee. Simple, easy. Mm -hmm. And then when we want to get fancy, we'll pull this out and we'll grind up our own beans and we heat up the water and we do that. Again, doesn't take a lot of time. How would this play into our coffee routine? Routine. So for me, I am the one who mostly drink coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it's a um, very busy morning, I would probably do the curry, just because it's easier, yeah. I like it, and it's fast, so I'll do that. If I have a little bit more of time, I would probably do this, because I like it, to be honest, I like it. Mm -hmm. And if I have a, a lot of time, then I will do the traditional Costa Rican way because it's a little bit more work. Yeah, it's a little more work and it's also, we're, we're drinking a very special coffee and for us, the, the process of doing it is something special. So for me, I think in the afternoons, I could see myself, because one of the things I don't like about the Keurig is it's not easy to do an ice, ice coffee to me. Oh, yeah. Because you got to brew it and then it's hot and you know, there's a whole process. Whereas this, I can just fill up a cup of ice, throw in two or three scoops of, of the Javi with my favorite liquid and a little sweetener and I'm good to go. So for me, I think iced coffee is probably, would be my go-to. So my number one pick would be do using this for iced coffee over any other method. Mm -hmm. And then second would be yeah, that's doing a hot coffee. You're right. You're right. Also, for me in the afternoon, two, three in the afternoon, I would just grab <clears throat> two or three of these uh, teaspoons, pour in a, in a little uh, ice mm -hmm. water, and heavy cream. Yeah, nice that little do it. nice little pick me up. Mm -hmm. So Javi, congratulations! Welcome to our house. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely, and, and even though they sent us this, um, and I don't think 30, 30 of these aren't going to last around here very long. We'll probably yeah, go plus, that. I think this is 30 base in one or two um, teaspoons every time. Right. We're using three. Yeah, yeah. So we're, and, we'll probably get less. Yeah. And if I wanted something stronger, which I like stronger, I would probably use four. Yeah. Uh, I would try with four maybe tomorrow in the morning. Uh, but three is good for me. Again, I like strong coffee. Mm -hmm. So three is enough. And my uh, my heavy cream, and it, it is it is good. I like it. Just remember, be careful though, because this is heavily concentrated. Or more, you're getting a lot more caffeine 
in each microdose than you will from a regular coffee. You don't think so? Are you? Listen, That's everybody. My... He grew up in Costa Rica, literally across the street from a coffee plantation. I always joke, if I cut him, he bleeds coffee. <laughs> so for me, I would feel it because yeah, I, I, feel I don't it. drink as much coffee as mm -hmm. you do. Uh, but for him, probably not. So if you're a heavy coffee drinker, I think you'll be good to go. So let's talk about the flavor. Yeah, for me, this is like a light roast. It's not too strong. Uh, that's why I had to use a little more. So yeah, like a, a, a light, um, a light roast, subtle and good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely not uh, that robust, strong coffee flavor. So it's a more subtle um, flavor profile, which mm -hmm. I like. Uh, and it reminds me a little of like going to a good diner or your favorite pancake house that, you know, they've got a, it's always that tried and true, you got a good cup of coffee, good cup of joe, it's got good flavor. Is it the best in the world? No. Is it that horrible stuff you scoop out of a jar? No. So I would say that this fits right, right above good, right in between good and great. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty darn good for for something that's... For an instant coffee, yeah. Yeah, that's considered like an instant coffee because in a million years, I would never just go out and buy an instant coffee. It reminds me of my grandmother when I was a kid growing up and she would pour that stuff in the cup and I just was like, ugh. But uh, yeah, Javi Liquid Microdose Coffee. Welcome. I like it. And it says it packs a punch, so we'll see if my heart mm -hmm. starts racing in a little bit. Um... So there you go. I think on a scale of one to 10, what would you give it? I would give it for flavor. I will give it a seven just because I like it stronger. Mm -hmm. And overall, I will give an eight because they need to do a better job on the, um, they probably need like one of those leads that you can. Yeah, sort of like you get on the syrup bottle yes. or, or even if they could do something like this with, like you get with, um, you know, the squeeze bottles of honey or mm -hmm. something. Well, I don't know if you want a squeeze bottle, but yeah, yeah something to make it easier. If you see, there's like all over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they need to figure out that part. But in general, it's pretty good. I like it. And for me, on the flavor profile, I will say the same. I'm right around a seven and I would give it an 8.5 overall. And mainly because I'm looking forward to some afternoon iced coffees uh, because I don't typically do that at home because it's a process. Now I got an easy way to do it. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, I think this is a great choice. And once again, thank you to Javi for sending us. And if you're interested in this coffee uh, and you wanna take our word for it, click the link below in the description or I'm gonna put, a, put it right here along the screen. You can type that into your browser and you'll get 10% off your entire order. So from us to you, we appreciate you watching and always remember, happiness is a lifestyle. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and always that bell notification so you know when we upload the next video. So thanks for watching everybody and happy coffee time. <laughs>